a lot of people thought I would be able to uh, display my artwork I did this one when I was 11 years old it's one of the first ones I did uh, pencil sketch and uh, I had some luminous paint um, it, it smelled like fish I remember and uh, these were high tech I think they've gone bust since uh, the 1980s but uh, there, there we have it, the stuff, one of my favourites um, some of you might know this one, Ocean Dreaming uh, I may use this one for an account ID I did this for my art hire which is a study of Australia, Australian art when I visited there back in 2000 and yes, uh, here's an old favourite <laughs> I've also used this one. Um, it's just basically a study on uh, dot type of uh, drawing, pixelated type of art. Um, this is obviously charcoal and uh, this is the wax crayon and ink um, scribe. You can't really see the detail on that very well because of the light but uh, anyhow there's the surfer. You see is the uh, N times triple seven ID experience the difference yes a lot of you will be hallelujah if your eyes and ears are open to the Lord Jesus Christ uh, we can't see this again very well because of the light but uh, that's this kookaburras and uh, woodpeckers and uh, parrots again can't see that very well but uh, see that little chap my mother calls them uh, Mowglies, but I believe their proper names are Aborigines. <laughs> uh, again, got the light, I don't think you can see this one real well. Uh, I think this one's a koala bear and uh, a roo, kangaroo, right mate? Not a problem mate there, not a problem, Castle Mine Forex. It's a kookaburra, I believe. And um, some sketches I made of the Aborigines when I was there. Again, study of Australia, dingoes, and uh, some tribal men there doing their strange little dance, and the boomerang. Right, mate. You like it? Right.